Welcome back, Agent Nation. My name, of course, is Agent Beamstar. Let's get right into the news. Oh my God, take a look at all these tabs, my guy. Those are all stories. So much news to get into today. So drop a like, subscribe to the channel, and let's get straight into it. For our first story of the day, we're starting things off light here today, ladies and gentlemen, because the NBA 2K Twitter account is being managed by a bozo. I don't know what they're doing down over there, okay? Because somebody sent me this tweet saying, NBA 2K like? Question mark? And it was basically a tweet that Jamel Hill put out, quote tweeting all the stuff going on with Kodak Black, hauling at Nipsey Hussle's wife after he passed away, etc. Everybody's like, bro, why, why is NBA 2K official account liking this stuff? See, what I think happened was, the guy forgot to log out of the NBA 2K account and was liking tweets on his own personal account, except he didn't log out. So, I mean, when you like stuff, it shows up on people's feeds. So it's a story that didn't need to be a story. And in combination what, with what happened last, week I covered on last week's drum alert there's some bad news ladies and gentlemen Ronnie 2k himself put out a tweet saying come work on our team as a social media coordinator you can try to come up with better banter on Twitter than I <laughs> Do you guys remember in the last 2K drama alert, I told you what was gonna happen. He was gonna walk into the damn studio on the next business day and everyone was gonna stare at him. Well, seems like he did one too many oopsies. My guys, guys got fired. He's out of there, ladies and gentlemen. They're looking for someone to replace his position. The story doesn't end there because LD2K was chipping in. He said, this is the position I started off at in 2011. Join a great team on the marketing side and come make a difference. But more importantly, LD2K followed up with another tweet underneath Ronnie's tweet saying this, I'm on the development side now. Because when LD2K came back, we all assumed he was gonna work with 2K TV, but we didn't think he was gonna have any say on the development side like he used to when he was a community manager. Well, what do you know, LD2K, is that guy once again. So he kind of just dropped that bombshell on us and I guess that's that fun light story before we get to the rest of this episode. For our next story of the day, a quick one. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't know what's happening with the NBA 2K League and Joe knows caught it as well, bro. He put out a tweet saying this, how the f is the 2K League lagging when they're all in the same room? Which begs the question, how can you lag if you're playing on land? You're not online. I got an answer for you guys, ladies and gentlemen. The 2K League doesn't play on land. What? Why would they all fly to play each other in New York if they're still playing through an online server? Why don't they just play from where they're at? It would save costs. I don't know the answer to that question, ladies and gentlemen. I guess 2K hasn't developed a LAN infrastructure just yet. And honestly, I can't imagine it's that hard, but it just hasn't been done. So yeah, they literally fly to New York to play each other, all these professional players, and then they play on an online server with latency. Oh man, <laughs> I thought it was a funny story. For our next story of the day, Ticino put out this funny ass tweet. I don't know who the guy in the video is, but you're gonna wanna watch it. Stop comparing me to Ticino, man. Hold on, it's buffering. I'm the GOAT. I've been the GOAT. Stop comparing me. I'm oh dropping these tips for y'all. A... Me. I'm dropping these tips. I'm dropping these videos, teaching y'all. Dropping detail. Who going that deep in their videos? Who? Stop comparing me, man. I have so many questions. First of all, I, I I watched this video back like two times before I recorded this video. Was that a gun? <laughs> I can't tell, bro, but it sure looked like one for a moment. Um, yeah, I just thought it was funny. That guy was bugging. <laughs> for our big juicy story of the day, and oh lord, did all the YouTubers get involved in this one, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, there was a free-for-all on Twitter last week. And man, there was a lot of drama that came out of it, ladies and gentlemen. Things started off, Hank the Tank quote tweeted saying, lol, no wonder no one takes that bozo serious. And it was to a tweet that someone sent to Swante that goes a little something like this. The guy in the video is Power, by the way. The guy that's been fighting with Steezo for the past few months about the whole dribble versus ISO thing. Love you, appreciate you, Chinder. Appreciate you so much, my guy. If Steezo don't play comp, then play Swante. Swante, but Swante don't play comp. <laughs> All these ISOs are so bad, but the only, I'm going to tell you who the best people that like saw the ISO and are the best play sharks, in my opinion. Lamasta, he's pretty good. G-Man, I think he's pretty good, to be honest. But everybody else that's a play shark in ISOs, 
I don't really think they're good at the game, period, to be honest with you. Oh, man. So you know the dribbling community had a problem with that, bro. His power taking shots once again. That's what prompted the Hank tweet where he was saying nobody takes that bozo serious. Dizo decided to fire back on Twitter. He said this. At this point, just ignore the retarded dolphin, y'all. I've offered for us to play. He just talked. And when I talk back, they report my Twitter and get it suspended. Dude used to be my biggest fan commenting on all my videos, dick eating how great I was. Now I'm ass, cause I ISO. And he, he dropped some screenshots here of Power saying Steezo videos is fire from two years ago. Good video, bro, from two years ago. Power wasn't feeling it, so he took some shots back on Twitter, ladies and gentlemen. He said this. Steezo dribbles into my court and plays randoms. He cuts out all the bad parts and pretends to be good. I actually win playing against anyone and I stream it. Don't compare us. <laughs> hey, it's time for the fedora, man. He's never lied, ladies and gentlemen. Of course, of course. You know me, I had to drop what I was doing at the time because it was time for me to take screenshots. I stopped my beautiful Facebook stream. I'll leave a link in the description. All right, go follow me. I'm playing all kinds of games on there. And yeah, I put out the fedora. I grabbed every single screenshot. You guys are welcome. So Davis and Power kind of went at it. Davis said, you use two centers and exploit for the win. Power replied, last part is the most important. I win and still trash. Power replied, I'm better than you. <laughs> Steezo dropped a tweet saying, they want attention so bad and I always give it to them. Shake my head. And so of course at this point, it was just kind of like, we were just waiting for someone to say something to kind of take this thing to the next level. And it went to the next level. <laughs> Power decided to reply to Steezo's tweet saying, LMFAO, I'm sorry Steezo, this is just sad. I'm not your biggest fan, I was just showing support like you did to me, stop it. By the way, I keep it about the game and you get so pressed and call me mentally retarded. Who's really mad? I swear you ISO players think I'm supposed to bow down to you because you do a couple of dribble moves on YouTube. I don't really care. I think I'm better than you and I don't really have a problem saying it. Get over it, never seeing people so pressed over a game. Power is mad because the world roasted him a few days ago. We was cool a years ago, but he started hating on me because my ISO movement made him feel insecure about himself. Thank God he's a dumbass and nobody except his own clan takes him serious or respects anything he says. Damn, this is getting mad personal, my guys. Nobody is hating on you. Guess you can't take a little video game competition without taking it personal. It's funny how upset you get over ISO. You do realize it's a video game, right? <laughs> and then, and then, and then Steezo responded saying, nobody. Power the app. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> that was funny, okay? That was funny. Don't talk shit if you literally can't talk, Power. Me. Screens work better than ISO, and I'd beat you in 2K. Steezo, you're mentally retarded. Your channel is dead, and you're a dick rider. <laughs> Grinding decided, yo, it's time for me to get in the mix, all right? He said, man, what the fuck is happening? I thought this was Steezo versus Power shit was jokes. They actually hate each other? All over an archetype debate. LMAO, I see people hopping on the I hate power bandwagon just because their favorite YouTuber has a problem with him. Only thing I'm gonna say is power is the realest dude I've met on here. I'm not a sheep. If you can't think for yourself, you won't make it far in the world. So the banter went back and forth for a long little while and I cut out all the smaller things because this video would go on for like 40 minutes if I didn't. But I decided, hey, it's Agent Beam star in the building, all right? Let me try and end this situation the way it should have been ended a long time ago. I put out a tweet saying this. Steez over his power. The best of five on the two to settle the drama. I'll put up 1K to the winner because I want to see this happen on the PS4. Y'all down? I put up a challenge, ladies and gentlemen. I want to see what they was going to say. Listen, how else do you end a debate of this magnitude other than playing one another? And it didn't seem like they were setting up a match, so I said, I'll put a thousand down. Live stream the match or record the match and put it up on your YouTube channels. That's what the community wants to see. And there was a whole whirlwind of responses to that tweet, so let's get into that. Power immediately responded saying, I play on Xbox, I'm not playing on PS4. He caught a lot of heat for that because a lot of people were saying that Power was ducking, that he didn't want to play the match. I talked to him in the DMs, I tried to get something to work, but Power is right. If Power comes from the Xbox to the PS4, that's not his home turf, right? And so obviously if you, you're playing a game that big, you want everything to be normal, the way you're used to playing. That being said, like they, he had like a 99 overall account lined up and everything if he wanted to play on the PS4. And a 99 overall, that's a pretty big advantage. So he was catching some heat. A lot of people were saying he was ducking. Badge Plug got in the mix. He said, you know Steezo ain't scared. You know Power is. 
Watch, don't waste your time. Grinding went to defend his guy. He said, Badge, holy bro, you got to be kidding me. You practically begged me to get power to settle the beef with you, but every time a popular YouTuber has a problem with him, you hop on the bandwagon. What the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> Yo, I love how Badge just gets involved. <laughs> <laughs> and it's always funny from that point forward. Every single time there's drama. I've made it public that I settled my beef with him. Also, I don't agree with his opinion at all, and neither does any skilled 2K player with a brain. I'm just calling it how it is. I guarantee Steezo will play anytime, anywhere, but power won't. Watch. And to that point, Steezo quote tweeted my tweet. And I'm sorry, guys, I didn't screenshot that one. I messed up there. My bad. Steezo did agree to play under those conditions. Steezo said, if power wants to play, I'm with it. Let's do it. Power replied, he said, I don't even talk about Badge Pluck, and I have him blocked. Settle the beef, but talk shit about him every chance you get. Just say how it really is, Badge. No one likes a fake. Damn, okay. Yo, things got a little bit more personal in the next couple tweets, and I mean, I, I'm smiling because it's just all funny to me, all right? Forget about me. Saying he's scared isn't fake. To be honest, if Power does play, which I doubt, I'll put a thousand on Steezo myself. You wanna bet that back? Considered I'll probably be playing in the game if it does happen, yes, I would love to bet 1K on myself. So it seems everybody's up in the ante, man. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, the community wants to see this game happen, ladies and gentlemen. Like, w what kind of community would it be if we had all this drama and we just settled it by never talking to one another or never compromising to come to a, a common conclusion? And that conclusion is, let's get the game, let's get the content, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, this dude gets views now? Yeah, I side with him. I understand YouTube's a business, but some of y'all spineless as fuck. And let me yo. Oh, I did get the tweet, ladies and gentlemen. I knew it, man. I'm great at this. Uh, Steezo were quote tweeted my original tweet saying, I got to settle this now and forever then be over with it. This man is bringing out the worst to me, y'all, and it's making me act like someone I'm not. Retweet agent's tweet. Steezo saying, I'm down, bro. Let's get this game for the community. For the community, let's get it. He, I don't know if he came with all that enthusiasm. That was me. Things got dramatically more serious when Steezo put out this frightening tweet. My sister just called me crying saying someone called her phone making death threats. And that's very, very serious. And so it's, it's, it's becoming somewhat of a trend. When DF gets in a problem with another group of people, Swante was saying the same thing, hold on. He said, people are reporting my fans. I'm telling you, these DF guys are fucking corny. And this is not the first time it happened where someone had beef with DF and then they eventually got suspended or people were reporting their Twitter page. I can't find the original tweet, but Power shot back at him and said, yo, nobody has the time to do something like that. That wasn't us. So they're denying the allegations, man. But whoever sent that phone call to Steezo's sister, what? <laughs> Who did that? What's wrong with y'all? We're talking about 2K here. Which reasonable human being would think the next step in this debate between who's better than who is to call someone's family member making death threats? I need to find who did that, bro, because that person needs to be banished into a realm where he doesn't communicate with the rest of the world forever. In just pure isolation. We don't need people that twisted in the world. And of course that pissed Steezo off. That's not something you do to anybody in any situation. Obviously, we're not going to find out who did it. Nobody can unless, like, somebody calls a detective or a private investigator, of course. Badge Pug responded to grinding saying, then it's a bet. And if you want, I'll put two bands on Steezo. But I'm already telling you, I know power won't play. Grinding responded to that one, and this is what he said. <laughs> Sorry, man, I don't make clickbait glitch videos every other day, so I can't afford that. Put me down for 1K, and well, and we'll see if this actually happens. Oh my God, this is getting mad personal, my guys. Power explained the controller and delay barrier latency would. Steezo be using an Xbox controller, be fair, for example. Now, I, I have gotten a brief experience on Xbox. I'm gonna tell you right now, the difference in latency is not that crazy. Also, you can just change your jump shot to adjust for that kind of stuff, you know what I mean? Like, there's plenty of times that people have played games even though it wasn't ideal conditions. There's videos I did, you remember that video I did with Kevin Garnett and Paul George in that celebrity game? I was playing on the West servers. I could barely control my dribble moves and I could barely shoot. I didn't have a, I didn't have a jump shot for the West servers, but I agreed to do it because I thought it was going to be fun. Do you guys remember when Poor Boy Sin played me in the one-on-one? -on -one? We eventually won that game and I wish I made it a bigger point in the video, but Poor Boy Sin is from West. 
So if he comes to play me on East servers and he's a point guard, it's gonna be substantially harder for him to do dribble moves, but he still agreed to the game because it would be good content. And so shout, I'm gonna say right now, shout out to the people that agree to do things even if the circumstances aren't even perfect because they'll never always be perfect, right? Do you guys remember the video where Steezo was helping me troll Mike Rezemba? Steezo's from the West servers. And so when he was playing Mike Rezemba, he was playing on the East servers. But he told me like, yo, if you can, could you, could you get us on the West? And I tried to make it happen, but it just never happened, but he still helped me out. So I'm just saying, of course, there's gonna be issues. There's gonna be a completely different controller that takes time to adjust to. There's gonna be a different delay, and so you have to change your jump shot to a come, uh, adjust for that. But just spend like a week on the PS4 and you got all that shit covered. These guys play the game. They're good at the game. And so it's not like they can't figure the thing out. It's not like it's impossible to figure out. Steezo put out a tweet saying, Agent put up 1K for the match and he don't wanna do it. I'm done entertaining this. I already know y'all too <coughs> to do anything in real life. So my sister's good. Going on a big unfollowing and blocking spree later tonight. It's never that serious. Joe Knows put out a tweet saying, just when you think the 2K community can't get any more weird, today happens. I'm gonna leave the tweets up for a minute for Mr. Beamstar, but besides that, don't say I'm beefing when I stated the obvious. Shots were thrown at me and I threw none back. I'm chilling. I've been working out, exercising on a strict diet, getting in shape. I don't care about someone's internet opinion. Hey, Badge, I've been doing the same thing, my guy. Yeah, man, I've been eating healthier and everything, bro. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about, man. So that's where that story ended. Holy, was that a... When I tell you guys there was way more tweets, there's just no way I could have added every single one of the tweets from every YouTuber into the video. There was a lot more. Uh, it seemed like we reached the apex of the drama between Steezo and Power. A whole bunch of YouTubers got involved, and of all of that, no game came out of it, man. So that's the elf of the community. I'm gonna tell you guys that right now, but hold on. Maybe in the future, someday. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys before I end the story. Yo, Steezo dropped the video, and I apologize because I didn't think he was gonna delete the video because usually I'm used to people deleting tweets. I've never seen deleted videos. So I didn't end up recording it, but Steezo dropped the video responding to Power. And it was like 10 minutes long, and it was hilarious. There's some very funny moments. And I just didn't, I didn't record it because I thought it was gonna stay up there, man. So I apologize for that. But that happened as well, where he basically summarized what was happening on Twitter and explained his opinion. Uh, so yeah, that happened. For our next story of the day, Caldy put out a very interesting tweet. And Loki has kind of been on my mind too, but I haven't said nothing. The tweet says this. You have to sub to Ronnie to be in his card giveaways. The card he gets for free as a 2K employee, does no one else see a problem with this? So I don't know if you guys follow, Ronnie 2K streams on Twitch all the time. He does bare giveaways, but the giveaways go to his subs and you have to pay to be a sub. And so it is a little bit interesting. I don't know if, I'm assuming 2K wants it to be that way because if they felt like he was benefiting from a situation where he shouldn't have been, they'd have told him cut that out immediately. I don't know, man. I don't know. I go, I, I come into Ronnie's streams pretty often. I, I'm not usually in the chat, but I just peep what's going on, man. I like to see Ronnie throw up them bricks. <laughs> I don't know. Just, sometimes he's enjoying it. He's in there laughing and playing and smiling. But I've been in a couple streams where Ronnie is just flat out miserable. I don't know. He maybe had something else going on that day that kind of just took him. But I was like, yo, he does not look like a guy that wants to be streaming. Anyway, um, yeah, he does do a lot of giveaways and you have to sub to be in the giveaway. So it's kind of like you're giving 2K more money or maybe you're giving Ronnie 2K money. I don't know. And that's it for the news, ladies and gentlemen. If you guys enjoyed, drop a like, subscribe to the channel, man. There's a lot that went on and there's a lot that's going to continue to go on. The 2K community is almost always in a state of chaos. And uh, yeah, man, click on one of these four videos.